Hi there, I just wanted to do a quick film on white balance within Lightroom. I've taken a photograph here in a church. Uh, churches and many places that I photograph weddings are lovely looking uh, venues, but they do tend to have a lot of wood, uh, a lack of light, and do throw a certain color cast onto uh, wedding dresses, skin, people, etc. I shoot in flash white balance. If I was shooting auto white balance, it would get rid of a lot of this tonality, uh, but it would also give a kind of cold uh, tint to all the photographs. So I shoot in white balance, sorry, flash white balance, knowing that I'm going to correct this later on. Uh, within the develop module of Lightroom, uh, we have over on the right hand side under treatment, we have uh, the white picker here. Uh, by clicking the white picker and picking it up, it will come across, and using the eyedropper, we will be able to go across any colors essentially and change the white balance of the picture. Now obviously we're trying to get the white uh, to look as white as it can. Uh, so by hovering over here on the dress, you can actually see it's a very brown tonality to the dress. If you come across and look up into the preview window here, as I scroll across the dress itself, uh, you'll see it's changed to much more realistic tones. Uh, now we don't have to be 100% accurate initially, we just need to get as close to normality as possible. So I'm going to go ahead here and click on the dress right there. Instantaneously we've got a much, much more realistic uh, tonality to her dress, her skin tones, her eyes, everything has gone uh, a much more realistic colour. If I just quickly hit the backslash button you'll see that's where we started from a second ago uh, and that's where we are now. Now, quite often when we're doing this with the white picker, we don't end up with a, with a picture as close to uh, an accurate white balance as we have here. So what I generally say is, if you are unhappy with the tonality that you get, it quite often it can come up quite cold, is to come up to temperature uh, and tint, and during the temperature bar, just take it slightly more to the right and we'll give it a slightly warmer tint. Now, obviously there is a fear of it going back to the, the color we had a minute ago. Uh, I'm gonna hit Command Z to bring that back to, for us but just a little bit to give a little bit more warmth and tonality to it. The dress doesn't have to be pure white. It can have a bit of coloration to it. It's just so much better than the previous color. That's a quick uh, film on white bands uh, for wedding dresses within churches. Uh, obviously there's plenty more that can be done with this photograph with regards to, to taking it further uh, and, and getting everything else right with the photograph. But as a starting point, that's great for getting the white bands. Thanks very much.